over how to do a druid deck, you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, because uh, I wish it would stop doing that. Because I want her. Uh, if I, if nothing else, I can make this bit a highlight and just link it to her, so um, she can watch it at a later point. So druid is a really strong deck right now in the meta. It kind of can counter everything with enough control. Um, and Druid is obviously got control up the butt. Naturalize, Wrath, uh, Bite, if you're um, into that kind of play with the Druid. Soul of the Forest, Keeper of the Grove. Um, they can get ahead in mana with mana stuff like Nourish and... Um, Oh, hold on. Uh, sorry. They can get ahead in mana with stuff like Innervate, play stuff early. They can use Claw and um, Bite to get some good armor and damage going from their hero. They can use Mark of the Wild to buff creatures into taunts. Wild Growth gets you ahead in mana. Wrath can get you ahead in card draw. You know, they just have a lot of either good card draw or... Um, tempo gainers and so um savage roar a good tempo swipe is a great tempo card druid of the claw is a great tempo claw card starfire is a great tempo card starfall um keeper of the grove if i could dra uh craft these i would like it's a good card um and then you've got like Ancient of War, Ironbark Protector, and even their legendaries. Most of the class specific le legendaries are pretty good, but um, he is really good because you can play him down, and you get three cards for one if you give um, if you choose the Treants, which can help you get board control, or um, you can play him with the buff and then um, further buff your creatures with like. Mark of the Wild, Power of the Wild, and you can basically take uh, Mark of Nature. You can take, uh, or um, even Savage Roar, and you know, if you've got board control already, you can go from having board control to having just the enemy having no chance at having board control. You can make 1-1s one into 5-5s uh, five was just Scenarius and two marks of the wi uh, power of the wild next turn. I mean, so, oof. It, they're just really strong because they, they have a lot of tempo. They can always keep a lot of tempo and they can create tempo. So they're just really strong in this meta right now. So, um, no crafting mode, no, uh, you know, all that fun stuff. So, um, now onto the deck list with what I have. Um, I don't know if this tourney will actually end up working, and maybe this will just be a druid tutorial. So, um, somebody just disconnected. And to be honest, we've been sitting at three players for a while. I'm going to drop from this one and see if there's another one. Um, there is not, um, yeah, not a lot of people are doing the whole fighting, so I'm signed up, I can go do it whenever, so it looks like I will just be doing a druid tutorial that I will have, um, posted as a highlight. Um, so my deck right now takes advantage of Innervate and all the other mana cards and basically how I do it is I've got card draw in the Novice Engineer in the Loot Hoarder. I've got card draw in Wrath. Uh, Wraith? Wrath? Yeah, Wrath. Um, I've got uh, you know, big strong end games and basically what I do is I um, try a mulligan for innervate and a low cost card and then I'll innervate play a big card turn one and I'll just keep that momentum you know you get um, you get a wild growth keep that momentum you know 
get that momentum going and you just can't be slowed down. Like, druid decks can't be slowed down, and that's why they're so strong. So, we're gonna practice against the warrior because she's having a hard time against the warrior. Um, I'm gonna do normal and then I will go and do the warrior um, on expert and see how well I can do there because I'm actually not done with the experts. So I'm glaring at the innkeeper and now I'm mentally preparing. And now we're in. So this is against the comm. Uh, it's not gonna be super, oh my god, I'm gonna lose no matter what. So this is actually a really good hand. I've got turn 2 play, turn 3 play, turn 4 play. I consist can consistently get cards on the field. So we will keep that hand even though it doesn't have any innervates. And we got a turn 1 play. Best hand in the game that you could get right off the bat. That's some good card draw right there. Um, now we also have a remove on top of the draw. Um, so we're gonna draw. Getting an Iron Bark Protector is not bad. It's not like the best draw we could have ever gotten, but there are worse draws we could have gotten. So it's gonna fiery war axe and probably take out the two one. Mm -hmm. And then he'll take another two. So all in all, that Leper Gnome did six damage to the enemy for one mana. So um, ooh, um, we're gonna play. The golem. We're gonna stick with that play, and then next turn, what we can do is uh, we can buff it with uh, the debt of the reborn golem. Yep, because he's gonna kill it, and then um, it'll respawn as a two-one. And once he passes turn, ooh, we're gonna buff it. And then we're going to play this as the buff as well. And we're going to have a 5-4 from what used to be a 2-3. Alright, so he can almost kill my taunt creature. Um, ooh! Um, I'm going to use the card draw from Wraith. Wrath. Just get him a little bit lower. Um, oh, um, to, I think naturalizes the way to go here because then we can buff this up to be a 7 6 and go straight for his face. And then next turn we have lethal. See what I mean? He just couldn't stop my tempo. Um. T. And, oh, we gotta go for the big finish. Boom. Into boom. Now, obviously, a lot of these cards, somebody who just got it today, are not gonna have. And I understand that. So, um... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back, go to my collection, um, start up my druid deck, and I'm actually going to clear it. And there's a setting you can do uh, for called basic set. This only shows the cards you could have without in opening any packs. So these are the cards anybody will have if they've got druid level 10. And I will make a deck from that. So obviously all of those cards are key. So about half your deck, and we'll put put in that one. So about half your deck should be just druid cards, as per usual. Um, and then... Um, the... Um, uh, it's weird not having all my extra cards. Uh, we'll throw in a two Bloodfen Raptors. Um, throw in one Novice Engineer. I don't think she's good enough to have two of her in a deck anymore. Although we don't have lo Loot Hoarder, so we'll throw in a second one just for the card draw. Because Druids do rely on card draw. 
So, um, buff creatures, always good. Chill when Yeti. Um, Senjin. Uh, Stormwind. Um, we'll throw in Frost Wolf and Stormwind, one of those. So, as you can see, our mana curve kind of dippy and not usually what you would go for, but being as you only have basic cards, it's a pretty decent deck. Um, so, we'll go practice rush against the warrior again so this is a deck anybody with a level 10 druid could make and it should corralling murlocs ha huh? and it should be pretty good against comms and low level uh players so so as you can see we got stormwind champion which is not the best and we got swipe something you want to keep nine times out of ten but because we really need to mulligan for that early draw, Swipe is actually going to be replaced. <laughs> oh, we got both our Innervates. Okay, so this can cause for some really big shenanigans. Um, we aren't going to use one this turn, because we'll just play the Novice Engineer next turn. Get a card, see... Oh. We'll play one this turn. Play the Novice Engineer and play Wild Growth. So that we have the extra mana and... Then go get chips, baby. I love you. Um, so right now we have four mana. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use our hero power, gain control of the board, and toss down the raptor. Uh, uh, update. All right. Um, and then we'll end turn. Wolf Rider is some bad news because uh, comms always play for control. So I knew that was coming. Uh, we're gonna chill in and turn. And next turn, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna starfire for the draw. Ha! Innervate, wild growth for extra mana next turn, and then go for his face. Getting wild growth, both of them, before the 10th uh, mana is great. That's the best way you can do it. Alright, so... Um, we're gonna... Starfire for a draw on that one. And then we're gonna Mark of the Wild R4-5. And then so we control the trade, we're gonna... Go for that one. The gates are open. Hold on, Jazz. Come here. All right. So this turn, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna. Retaunt him. Unfortunately, he will be in. Um, bring it here. Unfortunately, he will be in um, weapon rage. Uh, one second, gonna mute the mic.
Anywho, I'm back. Sorry about that. So, Savage Roar. We're going to play that. That was actually a pretty good draw. We'll be able to keep both of our minions, and he'll lose both of his. And we gain two attack. He's going to give himself Heroic Strike. He's probably taking out the 3-1. That or he's going for my face. He's going for my face with the 7 damage. That's not a bad idea. Let's see. Alright. Good draw. We're gonna take out that one. And then we're gonna... Um... We'll make her into ping, uh, ping range with my passive, uh, passive, my hero power, and then we'll end turn. We've got a lot of power on the field, uh, ooh, he's got a Warsong Commander. Ooh, oh no, oh no, no way, those big robo plays, man. Oh my god. Remember swipe? That card would be lovely right now. And that's not swipe. So, right now the biggest thing we need to get off this field is the Warsong Commander. Um, and then we're going to take out one of his two ones. Oof. Now we, uh, survived. Oof. Survived is, I guess, a word for it. Um. So, hold on. Two, three, five, six, seven. Uh, we have to use all of our minions. There. There we go. The only problem is he's armoring up. And we have to now break through all that armor. Um, yes, one of the best draws we could have gotten. So, I'm going to take out the 2-1 with this one and then go for his face. Because the 8-8 eight, eight trades with the 2-3. So... Oh, but he has Execute. Oof. Okay, so we're gonna go for his face. Go for his face. And we're gonna keep the healing touch until, um... Oh. Great. Um... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the armor we have, hit him first, hit him with that, and then swipe. Getting rid of Garibashi Warriors uh, is a big priority, because they can scale out of control pretty quickly. Um, not what we were hoping for, but... Um, there are worse cards we could have gotten. We're gonna armor up and go for his face. Hmm. So he's getting a good top deck right now. Um. No, exhaust has to go through armor. Not the best time we could have drawn that. Um. It's not a stupid question. You gotta learn these th things sometimes. Sometime. Mm. Uh. 
I think that's game, yep. Alright, so rough game there, but I'm not gonna lie, the basic cards aren't the greatest. Um, the basic cards are really rough. Um, my big tip would be playing the arena. Even if you're not good, go to the arena, play a little bit, get some packs, get some gold. Um, you know, it, it all evens out. Do not just go to the shop and buy packs for gold. It's not worth it. Um, so, 